Greetings. Welcome to the next episode of What's In It For My Money or With Them. I am Andre Gordy. Before we get started, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscriber button to become a part of the family and get updated weekly content. In this latest episode, we will do an overview and examine the fifth and final general function of the Federal Reserve, promoting consumer protection and community development. The Federal Reserve is committed to ensuring that community and consumer perspectives inform Fed policy, research, and actions with its mission of promoting a fair and transparent consumer financial services marketplace and effective community development, including for traditionally underserved and economically vulnerable households and neighborhoods. Feel this responsibility. The Federal Reserve performs a number of functions to implement various consumer protection, fair lending, fair housing, and community reinvestment laws to improve their understanding of the dynamics of the consumer financial services marketplace, including formulating and carrying out consumer-focused supervision and examination policy to ensure that the financial institutions under its jurisdiction comply with the appropriate consumer protection laws and regulations, as well as meet the direct requirements for community reinvestment laws and regulations. Conducting rigorous research, analysis, and data collection to identify emerging consumer financial issues and assess their implications for economic and supervisory policy. Engaging, convening, informing key stakeholders to identify emerging issues, policies, and practices to advance effective community reinvestment and consumer protection legislation, and writing as well as reviewing regulations that implement consumer protection and community reinvestment laws. Consumer-focused supervision and examination. A primary Federal Reserve responsibility to the consumer is to ensure that the financial institutions under its jurisdiction comply with the appropriate laws and regulations set forth by Congress and other federal regulatory agencies. The Fed currently evaluates performance under the Community Reinvestment Act, or CRA, of all state member banks, irregardless of size, as well as their affiliates with the Fair Housing Act, the Service Member Civil Relief Act, and the National Flood Insurance Act. Prohibitions on unfair or deceptive acts or practices, otherwise known as UDAP, under the Federal Trade Commission Act and various federal consumer financial protection laws that are not directly under the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau's authority. And lastly, with compliance of all state member banks with total assets of 10 billion or less with all federal consumer financial protection laws and regulations. In addition, the Federal Reserve serves as the consolidated supervisor for all bank holding companies and ensures that the consumer compliance risk is appropriately incorporated into the holding company's consolidated supervision rating. The Fed has additional supervisor responsibility as the federal supervisor for all savings and loan holding companies, as well as the consolidated supervisor for all foreign banking organizations and non-bank financial companies set forth by the Financial Stability Oversight Council under the Dodd-Frank Act. The Fed supervises for consumer protection laws and regulations. The Federal Reserve Board of Governors and the 12 Reserve Banks have under delegated authority all responsibilities for consumer compliance supervision of all organizations under the Federal Reserve's jurisdiction. The Federal Reserve Board develops consumer compliance supervisory policies and identifies emerging issues. And provides rigorous examiner training, assist with the enforcement of fair lending, UDAP, and flood insurance violations. Further, the board evaluates applications involving bank or thrift holding companies, state member banks involved in CRA, consumer compliance issues, and receiving any adverse comment from external parties. The board also works with other agencies to promote consistency in examination principles, standards, and processes. The board's Division of Consumer and Community Affairs 
otherwise known as DCCA, provide support to the board in its consumer-focused supervisory activities. Regional approach to supervision. As was highlighted in one of the earlier episodes regarding one of the Fed's general functions, the Federal Reserve now takes a regional approach to supervision. The Federal Reserve has delegated examination authority to the 12 reserve banks who maintain consumer compliance supervisory programs with all institutions to ensure a level of compliance with all appropriate consumer protection laws and using policies that have been set forth by the board. Each of the 12 reserve banks have a staff of examiners who conduct periodic compliance examinations at financial institutions under the Federal Reserve's supervisory authority, which would include state member banks and bank holding companies. Consumer compliance examiners review the policies and practices pertaining to consumer products as well as services that are offered at each of these institutions. With the Fed's risk-focused consumer compliance program for community banks, consumer compliance examiners follow procedures in assessing an individual financial institution's risk profile, its compliance culture, and how it effectively identifies and manages consumer compliance risk to determine the scope and resources needed when conducting an examination. Risk Focus Examination Program also incorporates ongoing supervision to help identify and if necessary, address significant changes to the institution's compliance risk management or program in the level of consumer compliance risk that is present and to make sure that supervisory information is up to date. The Fed also has additional supervisory tools to ensure that bank management addresses any compliance program weaknesses, which will include both formal and informal enforcement actions. Formal enforcement actions include executing a written agreement between the Federal Reserve and the financial institution's board of directors or management that the institution need to take specific corrective action regarding specific issuing issues. cease and desist orders to halt specific practices in violation. Assessing civil money penalties when appropriate, depending on the nature, severity, and harm to consumers as a result of deficient practices. And ordering remedies or restitution to consumers affected by the institution's violations. Evaluating performance under the Community Reinvestment Act. The Community Reinvestment Act encouraged depository institutions, commercial banks, and savings institutions to help meet the credit needs of their local communities, including low to moderate income neighborhoods consistent with safe and sound operation. The CRA requires the Federal Reserve evaluate each state member bank's CRA performance with one of four CRA ratings. Outstanding, satisfactory, needs to improve, or substantial non-compliance. CRA rating and conclusions, as well as the facts, the data, and analysis to support a bank's rating are summarized in a publicly available performance evaluation. Administering consumer laws, drafting regulations. The Federal Reserve Board has rulemaking responsibility under specific statutory provisions that are within the consumer financial services and fair lending laws. The board issues regulations to implement those laws and also issues official interpretations as well as compliance guidance for the financial industry as well as the reserve bank's examination staff. The board also regularly works with other federal financial regulatory agencies in proposing rules, procedures to implement new laws, and amendments to existing laws. For example, the board works with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, National Credit Union Administrator, Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, and a federal housing finance agency to establish appraisal requirements for home mortgages. Joint efforts such as these ensure that consumer protections that have been mandated by Congress are enforced effectively across all institutions. Federal Reserve Community Development staff engage in a wide array of activities, mainly focused in four topical areas. One, policy and practice promoting the well-being of economically vulnerable communities by enhancing the scale, 
sustainability, and impact of the community development field. Number two, people. Helping to sustain and promote policies that improve the financial stability and economic mobility of low-income communities and individuals. Number three, place. Engaging in place-based efforts to revitalize lower-income communities by advancing community development efforts targeted to geographically defined areas. Fourth, small business. Working with intermediaries to support small businesses and micro enterprises to increase the capacity of funding and technical assistance providers. The availability of credit and capital for small businesses and building a deeper understanding of small business trends as well as conditions. The community development function of the Federal Reserve System is made up of dedicated community development departments at each of the 12 Federal Reserve Banks, as well as the board. They collaborate to advance effective community development policies and practices through a range of activities. Those would include convening stakeholders. This function brings together practitioners from financial institutions, nonprofits, and governmental agencies, and the philanthropic and private sectors to collaborate on community and economic development initiatives and to identify key challenges as well as promising practices to address Number them. two. Conducting and sharing research. This function provides policymakers and practitioners with objective analysis on the economic challenges that are faced by lower income communities. Number three, identifying emerging issues. This function gathers and analyzes current information on economic and financial conditions to identify emerging issues affecting lower income communities and individuals. For example, Staff regularly conducts web-based polls or surveys from individuals and organizations to track perceptions, gather market intelligence, as well as sentiments around a wide range of community development issues. The community development issues faced by different regions of the country are often unique to those specific regions based upon market trends and influence. In recognition of this dynamic, the reserve banks develop their own programs to address the most pressing community and economic development needs in their district. What's in it for my money? Through the many general functions of the Fed, it employs a top-down approach to managing monetary policy both domestically and abroad. But just like any other organization or corporation, the Fed has its own Community Affairs or External Affairs Department, which is focused on the responses and feedback on the issues being faced by the community, that those issues are practical and reality-based and not just policy and theoretically driven. Those issues cover a wide range of socioeconomic landscapes, and the Fed takes a broad spectrum approach to try to deal with policies, procedures, and practices that have a positive impact on all communities. So when you think about the Federal Reserve, most people think about this governmental agency with a robotic bureaucracy that is totally inflexible with individuals and communities and only focused on its policies, procedures, and practices. In reality, the Fed has a huge community development focus on developing those policies and procedures for the betterment of our community. There you have the fifth and final general function of the Fed. Hopefully this series titled Federal Reserve 101 provides a little bit more context about the Fed's function and how it relates to you and your sure. money. to view the other four videos in this series entitled Federal Reserve 101 to get the full context of all five of the general functions related to the Fed. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscriber button to become a part of the family and get updated weekly content. Thank you again for tuning in.